local website. Or yeah, yeah, I'll show you how to it, I think. If they ask, would they give us like a copy of the Globes Air fight if we have it? Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here, um, 10th of August, Industry Rumble, Glozier Boxing Productions. Um, we're here with Glebrat Channel. I'm Kerry Davies, and I'm here with the one and only Barry Robinson, all the way from New York, United States. Good evening, Barry. How are you? You know, I'm very good. I keep seeing big people coming to the ring that are like 80 plus kilos, so that gets me excited because I know we're going to see some good entertainment, action, and some hard punching. That's right. What's your favorite weight division to watch, Barry? Oh, or come to on. coach, in fact? You know, well, favorite for what? Technique or action? So, which, first of all, which do you prefer watching? I prefer watching nowadays. I'll say the welterweight division. Yes, same. same. Great division. Depending, on, obviously, depending on who's in each division and stuff like that. But Great as a rule of thumb, yeah, the yeah, welterweight goes off. Doesn't it? But yeah. nowadays, the heavyweights, even though there's just a few guys, I just feel like it's, it's the most exciting the heavy, time for heavy heavyweight in a long time. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Even even the Povetkin fight, people underestimate, but that's a good fight with Joshua. Do you put a lot of it down to the marketing or just the general ability right now in that division? I think anytime you have a guy that looks like Anthony Joshua, big, good-looking guy. And a guy that makes jokes like Tyson Fury. <laughs> and then you have Tyson Fury, whose personality is completely different. That's right, It's yeah. entertaining right now. So here we are, guys. Fight 11 now. we got... That's, so that's Chris Tagola in the blue corner and Ken Kalitama, Kaliatama, <laughs> excuse my pronunciation, from Anytime Fitness in the red corner. Oh, Anytime Fitness <laughs> produces boxers. Where how's have your, I been? How's your moldy uh, pronunciation, Barry? Uh, I'm still sorting out the difference between Samoan and moldy, but I hopefully I can... Wow, we've got Look some guys guy, that want to scrap. Guy, he's one of guy first got... Oh, he's... Oh, uh, but the problem with that is all macho, but he doesn't have a punch to back that up. I never get that very punch. What are you punching yourself? I think he's going to get really tired. He keeps that up. And his opponent, why don't he time him? Wait for him to stick his chin up. Yeah, in. lots of ego in this fight, isn't there? It's, I don't know if there's a bit of bad blood between these two, but um, lots of ego in this fight. I think you got to simplify it. His girlfriend is in a crowd. It's <laughs> that simple. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, when my girlfriend came yeah. to see me play basketball, I dropped 60, <laughs> 70 <rich>. points a game. <laughs> I don't even know how. I couldn't tell you. Uh, it's interesting. It just seems to be walking him down and uh, just circling around the ring. To be honest. Well, you got to give his opponent credit for not taking a bait. He says, nope, we're going to fight when I want to oh, fight. Nice. And when I want to fight, I'm going to score. I score, you don't score. You didn't hurt me, he says, though. You didn't hurt me. That was his best punch so far. Oh, man. That left hook. Good counter punching. So the guy knows what he's doing in there. He says, come attack me so I can hit you back. As they say in Tai Chi, they attack first, but we arrive first. Nice. I like that. He's, really, he's hitting himself in the face so often. If points, if points were scored like football own goals, he would have uh, given away a lot of points. Because <laughs> he's, he's punched himself in the face over 20 times. <laughs> Kerry, I swear you're, you're not lying, man. If you scored your point, self points, he would definitely be ahead, man. But other than that, other than that, it's a close round. What is the corner telling the other guy right now? What do you tell him to face against a guy? Don't worry about hitting him, he's hitting himself. Corner just said every time he picks his hands like that, go to the body. <laughs> That's a good call, good call, yep. Can he execute? Um, what, I, what I'm noticing as well, though, it's almost like a uh, blue corner is just pushing him one way and red corner is going the same way. They're almost going around in circles. Right. It's like a bit of a salsa dance going on. They're just circling around and around. So for me, if blue corner realizes, okay, he's moving to his right all the time, step over. let's step over, hit him with a left hook or hit him with a left body rip. But, um, let's see if he mixes it up now. But Well, the red corner got a good lecturing. His corner wants him to go down the body. Let's see if he listens to his corner. Oh, starts out with a nice with right hand, hand. <laughs> and again he hits himself. And, and I gotta tell you what, you know, blue corner needs not to mess around because I'd give the first round a red corner. Oh, so he's blocking him on the Good defense, the yeah, sure is. If red corner there was to take the shots on the glove and come back with his own shots, like he did there, bang, he's leaving himself wide. Oh, and he gets put down. The problem is also for the blue corner. 
if that's going to be your style, you better be able to punch. That's exactly and right. And I don't think he can punch. It's quite audacious to be that cocky. And not you've be able to, to punch. You've got to be able to back it. And right now, he's not really backing it. But he is coming forward, so got to give oh, him a, he's got he's take got a lot of heart. Right hand. Kerry, where do you rate Hart at in terms of winning fights? Will Hart win one of these guys for fights or will skill? Uh, in his corporate standard, you've got to go, Hart goes a long way, doesn't it? It goes a long way. If, if the skill levels are on par, um, Hart prevails. But like I, said, I think this, like I said, this is what these are good for, learning skill, you know? So they can come away and go, okay, well, Hart and Ego are not the main attributes. Let's look at skill and look at fighting smarter rather than harder. Exactly. Because a lot of these corporate guys, what we've seen tonight, it's all just rush, 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 hard, hard, hard. And, you know, trying to more, more, more. Whereas if you look at it differently, right, can we can we box smarter? I'll give New Zealand credit, though, for a... I've been a lot of, a lot of white-collar boxing and things like that. But i got to say, I've seen the most jabs I've seen today in an event like this. You've seen a lot of jabs. I've seen a lot. And that's... Imp- that's you know, an event right? like this, that's, that's a great thing. Good thing, that's yeah. Surprise. Because normally people in, a, in an event like this where you don't have experience, that's the first thing that goes yeah, away. It's head down and throw from the waist. Right. Whoa. Um, that's what I think, like you say yourself, um, Barry, like a good coach in these situations goes a long, long way, you know, because you can tell them two or three simple commands and it can change a fight. You know, in events like this, I've prepared a couple of white-collar guys for fights. And to be honest with you, we won fights with catching the jab, Defending against the jab and using a jab. Yeah. In a fight like this, it's really the most you need to do. You need to defend against the jab and use your jab. And if you can do that successfully, you want to off the night, you'll win. Yep. It's, it's all easier said than done as well, though, Barry, isn't it? Absolutely. When they're in that situation, you know, these guys probably in the gym are more composed, you know, and stick to the stick to the game plans. Get in there in front of their girlfriends and the shining lights, and it goes out the window. Who do you give the edge to so far in this oh, fight? I'm gonna go. For, I'm gonna go for red, red corner for the cleaner shot. The cleaner worker. Huh? But blue has been putting on the pressure. But but I don't think blue's landed much clean, or I don't think he's done any damage with any like, of the punches. Like that, all on the yeah, gloves, aren't they? Right. And like you're saying, they don't look big punches, do they? He's kind of he's he's doing the macho stuff, but he's uh, his punches don't look to have too much effect. Well. This is the, the, the right, the, you hit the nail on the head. So the, 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 the guy in the blue, he's doing a tough, the macho stuff. But for his style and for what he can, the way he can punch, he'd be better served throwing seven, eight punches at a time instead of one really hard punch because he doesn't punch hard. It, yep, instead of one to the opponent and four on himself. But I tell you what, Red Corner better get his crap together and start coming forward so he doesn't get this round stolen from him. There's only been one significant strike landed this round. That was a left hook nice. early in the front, early in the round. I think what he was doing red corner really well. He's taking those shots on the gloves and countering it. And if he can get back to that again. But well, what are the judges seeing? Hopefully the judges will not take this away from him. I think he's red corner has nice. won this fight. Nice. End of round three. I'm going to go for red corner edge in that one, Barry. How about yourself? I tell you, that fight was a case of when keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> and so, red corner definitely gets the win. Yeah. So, you find um, over in the States as well. So, am I right in saying, like, you've got the, the likes of Adrian Broner and Mayweather and stuff like that. Is the flashy kind of um, flamboyant, arrogant as such, and a little bit of... Uh, cheekiness is that like an american thing would you say i'm gonna go on record right now and put myself out there as an american and as a black guy black african-american floyd mayweather okay i respect a lot of what he does in the ring i don't care about what he does outside the ring not my business the problem is is guys like adrian broner they love mayweather but i think they love him more for his materialistic stuff as opposed to what he does in the ring okay yeah like clock management and consistency and never actually being in a corner so he has a room to escape and so when I look at like a lot of African American boxers they look up to Floyd but I think they look up at, to him for the wrong reasons okay, yeah, okay. as far as lifestyle and yeah. not for uh, well, what so he does well inside the ring right, so they've gone they've gone for the red corner there Barry so he did nick it good fight good fight again did they give the fight to red corner they went to red corner yep I guess the judges like the pro- oh no 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 okay 
I was about to say the judges like the pressure, but Red Corner was our guy. And I, th I think the, the kind of macho stuff like that, am I wrong in saying a lot of judges don't like that. A, a, a lot of people in the public don't like that in general, no. you know, the whole, unless you really back it up. Unless, unless you, when you say, you're, when Mike Tyson says, I'm going to eat your kids, he follows that up with a vicious knockout. Yeah. That's, when Floyd Mayweather says, you're, 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 you're a great competitor, I'm a true champion, he's normally backed that up he with the seminar. Up. Yeah, yeah. So getting back to what you were asking about American fighters, uh, yep. I think that what, what happened with, same thing what happened with basketball, right? Basketball, American fighters, American ballets were very athletic. Yep. But then Europeans started studying the sport, the fundamentals, the foundation. Yep. And now their players, you have Chris Stapps Porzingis, who's 7'3", he can shoot the ball, dribble. Yep. We don't really have too many American athletes that can do that. Yeah. So I think that the same We're with here boxing. with the red corner who has uh, won by split decision. How are you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. I give it up to people that do that all the time. I give it up to you guys, man. He needs a beer. <laughs> How are you feeling? So like, you just went for a war. How, uh, what was uh, Louis telling you in the corner? Oh, pretty much stick the jab and work hard. That's it, bro. Uh, uh. All right. Hopefully it goes well for you.